quick question. You are running on, on the Libertarian Party. I am. Okay. okay. We are listening to the music in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. As the Women's Defense League of New Hampshire's fourth annual gun rally is now finishing up. And we are pleased to be talking with Jaletta Jarvis, who is running for governor on the Libertarian Party. And I want to say thank you right off the bat for taking a little bit of time with Granite Rock. Um, I have written about you before on Granite Rock, kind of highlighting how uh, the Democrats treat people who aren't like them, even though they do say that they're inclusive. But you wrote a very nice, well-reasoned, fairly quiet op-ed and as to why you wanted to run for government. I'm hoping that you'd be willing to expand upon that a bit. Well, I wanted to run for government because I feel that here in this state, we have a very large percentage of very independent, strong people who live here. And they deserve a governor who's willing to stand up and say that that individuality, that strong-minded opinion is a valued resource in this state. Instead of going back and forth between what the polls might say countrywide or what the party might say is something that they're supposed to stand up for. Somebody who doesn't want to bow down to what the special interests have in mind, but instead has the opinions and heart of the actual people who live here as the base core of what their decisions are. Okay. What would some of your specific issues be? Because no politician can just run on that type of a platform. Yeah, that's why I always not. ask. Everybody's got to have a signature issue. What is yours? Well, I have several. The first one is our economy. While the statistics say that we have the lowest unemployment records here. We have the lowest unemployment rates. Unemployment is a tricky thing, whereas we don't keep as strong records of unemployment as other states do. And someone going from a $60,000 a year income to a $40,000 a year income because their jobs have left, the, the high paying jobs are leaving the state due to the energy costs, the, the property taxes are too high. And the only jobs they're able to find now are in retail. That's not really a good validation of having a strong economy. I know that the governor right now is working on bringing that economy back, but for example, this summer, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase is leaving the state. They're losing about 500 to 800 jobs in Salem alone. They've been laying people off for that particular business leaving. I know that the um, over in Stratum, our gun manufacturer was going to be expanding. They looked at New Hampshire as a possibility to expand the business and bring more high paying jobs into the state. But the energy costs of doing business in New Hampshire was just too high. We need to fix our energy regulations here so that people can afford to pay for the energy costs in New Hampshire. We need to fix the property tax issue in New Hampshire where you're paying $33 dollars per thousand on your house, people are leaving towns because they just simply can't afford to live there anymore. And a lot of that is due to the school budgets. A lot of that is due to just the way that we do our property taxes. We need to find other ways of bringing in revenue for the state. And that would be? Well, I've been talking to a company who would like to start bringing in a product called Hempcrete, where we could reverse environmental damage that's been done. If you look at Rye Beach, it used to be a great spot to go swimming, to, to go and hang out and just be in the water. If you look at any of the seacoast areas near where some of like St. Cobens has been, the water problems that we've been having, the higher cancer rates, Hempcrete putting up these blocks, it absorbs toxins from the ground and then it can be picked up, reformed, the toxins can be removed, and then you have the product all over again. It's a very easy recyclable product. And by using this product and manufacturing it here in the state, 
we can get a grant from the federal government to allow us to do research and product development here. And then the company can bring in green jobs, can bring in more manufacturing jobs, can bring in technological jobs, can bring in science jobs and STEM jobs. And then that brings in more revenue to the state. And then we can also sell that product to other states to increase their productivity. Okay. Well, very good. Um, unfortunately, time's getting a I little know, short, sorry. but that's all right. There's a lot. Sorry. Well, I appreciate you taking some time with Granite Rock. Stay in touch. Thank and if you. you've got something else to say, send it to us. And uh, as a guest host, we'll put it up. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll touch base with you a little later on. All right, if great. people want to get in touch with you, how do they? They can get in touch with me on my website at Gilletta Jarvis, J-I-L-L-E-T-T-A Jarvis. Jarvis. Yep. Uh, for the number four, nh.com. Or they can do the hashtag, hashtag Jarvis4Gov. And uh, they can find me on Twitter or on Facebook. And I answer all of the emails or messages that are sent to me. Um, and uh, I do that personally to make sure that people actually get my response. Oh, very good. And once again, thank you for taking time with Granite Rock. Thank you. Okay.